What is going on my fellow YouTubers? This is Ricky J Baby from Ricky J Sports and today we're going to be using Tony Ferguson. But before we get into this fight, I want to talk about my struggles, my stand-up struggles, and it was kind of like I was Daniel's son in Cry to Kid Part 3. You remember that? Do you guys remember that at the end of the movie? He was struggling in his final fight, and then Miyagi pulled him aside and he goes, Karate is in the heart. Now it's your time to let it out. And I feel like for the past couple days, all I've been doing is kickboxing in this game. And MMA is in my heart, people. Uh, I'm a virtual UFC fighter. I'm not a kickboxer. They don't call this EA Sports kickboxing. It's MMA. It's UFC. And I got to put all of that together in one package. And that's what makes me better than most guys out there, man. If it's just a stand-up game, I'm Ferguson, by the way. I'm not just going to win, man. This isn't UFC 2. I got to be more patient. Oh my gosh. Move around. I gotta use my footwork. My head movement. <laughs> As you saw me, I tried to slow dance right there. But I want to just be a little bit patient and then, you know, if I can slow dance, if I could go for a takedown, I'm going to do it. Because if I just keep it as a stand-up battle, man, I'm not used to this game yet. Oh, I'm getting tagged a little bit. Oh, but I'm firing back. Look at that smelly head kick. But I have to keep it together. I don't want to telegraph that. And again, f to clinch, it's just it's weird, man. It's not like how it is back in the old time with UFC 2. Yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's a little leggy. This guy's backing up. Yeah, I got to use... The thing is with this, I'm finding out now with this that it's just about being patient and finding openings. You can't be reckless. Oh, down you go, Paga. I don't even know what Paga is. I meant to say big boy or big guy. And that's what Paga comes from. <laughs> Look at this guy. Come on, man. I feel like I'm doing good on the feet, so... I don't know, man. I'm scared of Khabib from part from UFC 2, man. I'm scared of, scared of him. And the thing is, too, you don't want to throw silly shots... Just for the sake of throwing shot. Oh, he's hurt. You got to mix it up to the body. Even though the body kicks are a little slow. Look at this guy. Even though the body kicks are slow, man. I really have to incorporate that in my stand-up attack. Yeah. Yes. And this guy's doing some pretty good head movement. Gotta pick my spots. And the thing is too, if you can dodge your opponent's onslaught, you know what, in a, in a funny way you're winning the fight because they're draining their stamina, if you know what I mean. So let your opponent throw. If you're able to move your head, use your feet, let them throw, man. Nice. <laughs> There's the old Ricky J combo right there. UFC 2 ain't dead, baby. But I gotta piece this all together. The only reason why I'm not keeping it on the ground is because I feel like I'm doing better oh, on the feet with this guy. Man, finding it to be laggy these days, man. Nice, and the thing is he's loading up on that. Decent round, decent round. A little bit of the pa 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 shots, you know what I mean? Just gotta piece things together. The thing is too though, you gotta figure out what combos work for your guy and you gotta stick to it. You can't just throw random combos anymore. You can't just piece together creative combos, which in a way is a shame. Like I'm gonna make a video later on comparing like realism with fun factor. And I'm not saying this isn't fun. This is fun. But you don't want to take away the fun factor of the game. Let me know your thoughts are on that point. But I'll make a video on that. You know, what way, what, do you, what weighs more in your heart, man? The simulation aspect or fun factor? There's got to be that balance. This guy's tagging up my leg pretty good. Oh, and he's stunned. Wow. There, chicken leg. Oh, wow. 
I was gonna say, I like to believe when your guy's stunned, the takedowns are easier, but not against Habib. Oh, no way. I find the takedown defense is easier in this one. You have more of that window. Dude, don't go up the middle. And this has been a cinch, man. They gotta work on this, and I made a video. Look at this. It's over. <laughs> oh, baby. Back to my winning ways. Mr. Miyagi would be proud. Let's get in on another fight using Tony Ferguson. But holy, that, without me being cocky, man, that was pretty easy. They got to work on that submission game. But it was a great victory. Putting together, uh, putting the mixed in mixed martial arts, baby. Let's have another fight, guys. Hang on. All right, people. It's good old Conor McGregor time. And I'm nervous, man, because McGregor, he comes out blitzing you every time. So I got to be careful. Yeah. How about that? <laughs> the thing is, volume does not work in this game. It's about accuracy, precision. Finding your spots, finding your openings. You can tell I'm pumped up, people. I'm pumped up because I'm done work and I can enjoy this game. A long day. Yes. Okay. Got to respect McGregor's stand up, respect his power. But as GSP would say, I respect his skill. I respect him, but I'm not afraid of him. <laughs> and again, this guy. Guys are coming blitzing at you with McGregor. You got to try to withstand that storm. And then when the storm ends, it's time to ease what it, the, the planet attack and take him out. Yeah, that jab, man. You could still establish your jab in this. No way, baby. No spin rooney time. Yeah. And both guys really throwing with authority. Nice job to get the foot off the canvas and to the target quickly. Here we go. Inside leg kick by Connor. Got tagged there. Once again establishing the jab here. Excellent job. Yes, nice little hook. Getting him to respect my stand up. And I'm actually playing like El Kakui, just putting pressure on him. That's okay. Keep that keeping my stamina up is the key, man. Keeping my stamina up. If I feel threatened, it's takedown time, baby. It's clinch time. But I feel like you know <laughs> I don't know if you guys hear the train, man. I live by a train and the train just went by. But let's see if we could train. Steamroll this guy. No pun intended. Oh no. I'm gonna get steamrolled. Gotta back it up. Time out. <laughs> Time out. But I'm okay, man. I'm okay. <laughs> I'm trying to entice him. Always oh, he's, he's chirping back and forth. I'm trying to get him to open up. Oh nice. But the good news is right here, man. Yeah. Oh! Oh, dip and dive, and you see that dance move? Dip, dive, and the hook. Oh. Wow. But he is blowing out his stamina in a way. Yeah, baby. Moral victory on my part, man. Moral victory on my part. Because he threw everything at me. And that was all right, man. That was all right. We survived. The one thing, too, they don't make it so obvious that you're going for the glove touch, you know? That animation, he keeps his hand low and then he brings it up last minute. I like in UFC 2 where you can actually see the guy going for a glove touch, you know what I mean? Yo! Hooks and he's down! No way you are gonna get... Oh, it's over, baby! Picking him apart on the feet and he quit! <laughs> Let's get in on another fight. Hang on, guys. All right, here we go. It's Barbosa, and I am terrified of Edson Barbosa. So I gotta be aware, man. Be aware because 
His kicks are just amazing. Doesn't take much. It's not like in UFC 2 where it takes 10 kicks, man, to take him out. One or two kicks and the fight could be over. Even one kick. So it's gotta be, see that? Nice combo, so this guy knows what he's doing. It's okay, man, I got two victories. <laughs> it's all right, I don't even care if I lose, man. I'm showing you guys these fights. Win or lose, it's all good, yeah. Nice little slap to that, he's doing a nice little dance move. Gotta watch out, yeah, see that combo is crazy. He's throwing heavy leather though. Heavy leather, heavy feet. But, <laughs> why not? Let's see what you got. And I like how the screen shakes. You guys like that? How the screen shakes a little bit? Oh boy. No way. Wow. Good on him, man. Oh, he wants up. Gets the takedown, scores some points. And then always oh, ripping me up. That's okay. Again, as I was saying in the other fight, man, if you can withstand the onslaught of your opponent, it's a moral victory. And get the stamina advantage. And even dipping to the side and going for hooks in that, that's my number one offense when it comes to striking. Moving. I used to go back in UFC 2. Now side to side actually works better. Side to side, and it's a great way to counter. Jeez, I didn't mean to fake that kick. I have a habit of hitting R2 right before I kick. I don't know why, man. Oh, you're not gonna hit me with that. Oh, he kind of buckled me. Buckled me up a little bit. Oh. <laughs> I find when you move back like that, there's like a sudden crazy wind pushing you back. But see, he's wasting his stamina, and I feel like we're not hurt, man. We're not hurt. Oh, how about that? Dip to the left and hit him to the right. Oh, man. A lot of guys get fooled by that because they think you're going to go for the finish, and then I try to go for that takedown. It hasn't been working. He's stuffing me a little bit here, people. <laughs> oh, check that out. New animation. Grab the leg, go into half guard. Wow, I didn't think I had that. I didn't think I had that. It's El Kakui time. Finishing. Oh, finishing off the round. Pretty good here. Oh man, this guy is a seasoned guy. Let's try. Let's try. Oh, no way. You're going to whiff on that. You're going to get KO'd, but nah. <laughs> Give him the boogie shake right there. Hey, I'm, a, I'm the boogeyman, man. I'm the boogeyman using Tony Ferguson. Gotta do the boogie shake. But I feel like I'm doing pretty good, man. I feel like I'm sitting pretty. Got the stamina advantage. Survived the onslaught. This guy's good. But it's the dip, baby. The Ricky J dip. <laughs> I don't know if I could take ownership on that. Everybody's going to be doing that. But just dipping and moving there. See that? Every strike should start with a little dip action. And he's hitting me with these pitter. He's going with volume over. Um, he's not kicking. Oh man! I gotta move around. I gotta move around. I gotta confuse him. <laughs> That's the thing too. The one thing I'm finding with the new version is it's more of a mind game, man. Oh yeah, it's more of a mind game. Oh, gotta frustrate your opponent. Here we go, baby. Let's see what he's got. No way. Not gonna let you out. Kukui's a master. Oh man. Don't tell me you're gonna go up the middle. Oh. Look at this guy. Might as well give it a shot. Oh, nice. Oh, did I get it? No. Oh, good on him, and we're released. I don't know, man. I could have played that a little bit better. Gotta play that better. 
That's okay. I feel like I can hang with this guy in the feet. Gotta be patient. Gotta be... Stick to what I know. <laughs> That's the head movement. You don't want to do that too much. You don't want to do that from far out, though. You want to do that in the pocket. Because you don't want to get caught with something, especially a kick. If you do that and you get caught with a kick, game over. Remember, <laughs> we're putting the mixed in mixed martial arts. No way, big dog. This isn't kickboxing. Got to play this a little bit different. Oh, baby, I told... Yeah! Got to be more reactive. And that's all she wrote. Too easy. Come on. <laughs> Another victory. Wow. Unbelievable stuff, man. Should we do one more? Let's do one more, man. Because you know what? Let's go for another victory. Win or lose, it's all good. But yeah, mixing it all together is what I got to do, man, in order to succeed in this version. You can't stay in the stand-up realm. Got to mix it all together, piece it all together. So let's do one more fight, guys. Hang on. This has been awesome. All right, people. It's the rematch. This is the going to be the final fight, man, because I don't want this video to be too long. If you made it this far. Much respect to you guys, man. Hey, I want to tell you guys, catch me on Instagram, too. I, I like to post things here and there. I gave away three beta codes, man, on Instagram. So if you guys catch me on there, just search up Ricky J Sports. I post some fun, cool things um, about my dog, you know, about my life and family and just my hobbies outside of the virtual octagon. So here we go, the rematch. And again, gotta be patient. <laughs> but see this guy that I'm facing you can tell he's patient he's already on his bicycle going pa 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 that one hurt oh man you can already tell that this guy's oh he's hurt let's go baby clinch baby what do you got no way no way we could have put the mix and mix martial arts oh finish 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 and I'm not talking about my favorite country Finland <laughs> oh got to be patient too you don't want to blow the old wad though in this version but we let him know we let him know man light a fire baby <laughs> it's Christmas <laughs> oh my gosh I don't know oh cool oh. like a really bad dance move but I um, am really enjoying this going into what is this day three of the beta Oh my gosh. All, oh! Smelly! Oh no! What a roller coaster of a fight already! No, I'm enjoying it though. I'm enjoying it. The thing is, the EA producers, man, you gotta trust in them. This is just the beta, you guys. Oh, this guy, oh, he's hurt again! A fire, it's like a firecracker went off inside the octagon every time he gets rocked. But the EA guys are going to do their thing. They're going to fix the, the issues we have. And that's the thing, too. The videos that I make, man, I have to make more videos on what they need to improve on. You know what I mean? I, I, um, un, you know, I released one about the submission game. And I got to release more, man, before the final version comes out. But remember, even when the final version comes out, they're able to tweak things with updates. So it ain't over, man. This ain't the last, that's why they call it beta, for you to test it and for them to fix it. See if we can flatten him out. Oh, oh man, I tried the choke. Here we go. <laughs> I'm gonna try the choke and it's easy. Oh, I kinda made a, made a mistake there. Oh my gosh. What? I totally thought that I had that. <laughs> That's the first time I failed a submission attempt. Wow, what happened? That was a weird animation right there. But let me know in the comment section below too. I know there's a long video, but let me know what they need to improve on in the game. But don't just say like, oh, the stand-up. Like, what part of the stand-up? 
what part of the clinch, what part of the ground game, what part of the stamina realm. We got to get into detail so we could break it down in a video and really let the guys know. You know what I mean? <sighs> but this is good because I'm feeling better about my stand-up. And, you know, that's a good thing, though. But like I said in the beginning of the video, you got to piece your your game together, man. Don't just kickbox. You know what I mean? And, like, GSP does it the best. Look at this guy. GSP does the guest, the best. Putting it all together. And he would always say, I'm not, oh, look at this. I'm not the best stand-up guy. I'm not the best kicker. I'm not the hardest puncher. I'm not the best wrestler. I'm not the best jiu-jitsu guy. But I'm, what I'm the best at it is piecing it all together. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, do it, baby. Do that spin kick. Waste all your stamina. See, here's that, that wind. You move back, and I feel like I'm getting pushed back. Oh, he's going with the knees. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> the best is when you know your opponent's getting frustrated. He's not, though. He's flipping around. He's kneeing around. Look at him. Yeah, baby. Oh. Oh, that's like the Josh Koscheck overhead. Like a fast pitch. Remember that? I love Koscheck. That's all he would throw against GSP in UFC 74. Jab, overhand. No way. Let's see how good. Oh, one knee. And again, one knee, man. They got it. They can't make the clinch so devastating. It's still devastating. <laughs> Look at this guy's stamina. Keep on throwing, brother. Keep on throwing, big dog. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Slipper Rooney. Slipper Rooney. But this is not like in UFC 2. You have full stamina. Your opponent can... Oh, no. No. Oh, my gosh. Thought I was going to go down right there. But your opponent... Remember in UFC 2, you could have full stamina. Your opponent unleash on you, and you won't go down. In this, they have full stamina, and you have full stamina, and they hit you clean. You go down, man. Oh, pa pa pa, pa pa pa. Oh, what's this? What's this? What do I do? Oh my gosh, that's an a new part of the game, clinch game right there, or cage fighting. Jeez, I kind of froze. What happened? I'd like to go back and look at that. So there are different parts to the grappling realm, man. They didn't just upgrade um, the stand up. Oh, uppercut. Uppercut, baby. But we're finishing off this round pretty good. <laughs> yeah, baby. Might as well try it. You gotta try it, but not a lot of time left. Moves to half guard. Good punch. Great round. We could easily be up two rounds to nothing. Yeah, baby. So let's finish this off. This is my longest UFC 3 video. <laughs> but that's okay, man. That's okay. Here we go. This is it. No touch. No touch. Let's see if we could just keep on doing what we're doing. Go with the pa 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 technique. Yeah, there's the pa 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 technique. <laughs> the new sayings for UFC 3 are already coming out, people. The pa 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 technique. Pa pa pa. Pa 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 pa. pa. <laughs> oh, man. This is too much fun. Too much fun. But this guy is content with being against the cage. I'm scared to go clinch him, though. Oh! He's got to go down, baby. Ferguson showcasing his stand-up and showcasing great stamina, baby. Oh! Down he goes. What you got, man? What you got? His head is flashing. Yeah, baby. Side saddle. I gotta be patient though. Oh, man, that is rough. oh. Finding that position hard to deny. 
<laughs> Try to. Oh boy. Oh, it denies the hip toss. No way. Nice. Single leg counter. Kamora time. I gotta land this now. <laughs> I gotta be patient. Only two. Wow. Guys, I can't believe I just messed that up. That, and that was only two gates. We passed the midway point of the third and final round. Excellent movement and transition here on the Come on, waiting for him to move. No way. Oh wow. There's a single attempt. Oh, not good. Did not play that well. But we are winning the fight, which is good. This guy's gonna go full throttle balls to the wall. Oh, he's stunned again. <laughs> El Kukui's looking to slow dance. Just out of range with the big right hand. Jeez. Oh, again. Precision timing, baby. Oh, oh. Oh, oh what a finish. Uppercut, nighty night. <laughs> and a little flare at the end. What a finish. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed Tony Ferguson piecing our mixed martial arts together, putting the mix in mixed martial arts. All right, guys, this is Ricky J, baby, from Ricky J Sports. Thanks for stopping by, and thanks for hanging on this long if you're still watching this. And you are awesome.